Hey, my name's Alex, and I'm going to teach you how to do a time lapse using QuickTime Player 7 um, in less than five minutes. And at the end of the video, I will actually do it in full without the tutorial to show you that it actually does take less than five minutes. So with that, um, we'll go ahead and get started. If you don't have QuickTime Player 7, I will put a link in the description. Um, it's an older form of QuickTime Player. Um, that's the updated program given to you with the new Mac software and everything. So I edit using a MacBook Pro. So with that, let's get started. First, we'll look up QuickTime Player 7. I'll open that up. And what you're going to do is go into File, Open Image Sequence and go ahead and press that. It'll look like your finder, and I already have a micro SD card with, from my GoPro. Um, I took a time lapse out in Colorado. And what you're gonna wanna do is have a folder with all of the pictures in your time lapse that you wanna use. So I've already done that. It says Frontier Sunrise Time Lapse, and you're gonna wanna click on the picture that you wanna begin using your time lapse with. And all you do is you click the first picture, you press open and it's gonna ask you for your frame rate and you can pick any frame rate you want. I always edit in 23.98 uh, frames a second so I go ahead and just make my time lapse out of that and then if I wanna speed it up in post, I can. So I go ahead and press that, I press okay, it takes a second and then the whole screen should pop up. I press command three and that allows me just to see it in full screen and I go as follows. I save it, and um, you just want to save it as the self-contained movie. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty small file compared to a lot of other time lapses I've done. Um, so you just save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to do sunrise time lapse, and you press save, and it shouldn't take too long. So um, just give me a second. We'll be right back. All right, we're finishing up here and the time lapse is saved. I go ahead and close out of that. And the next program we're gonna use is Handbrake and um, you're gonna wanna open up Handbrake. And the reason why we're using Handbrake is when you have a big file and you try to play that time lapse at a really fast rate, it usually lags a lot. So we're gonna compress the file and you're taking a .mov file and we're gonna compress it to an MP4. So you're gonna open up Handbrake, and I'll put a link in the description. It's a free program, and um, I'll show you where to download that. You're gonna press your source. When you open up, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna press your source. So we're gonna to go to desktop, take that sunrise time lapse, and you're gonna press open. That's all you're gonna do. And um, it's gonna show you right here where the destination of the time lapse is gonna go. So I usually like to just put it on my desktop. It makes it really easy. So right there, it's desktop sunrise time lapse mp4, and you press start. You leave everything as the way it is, and you press start. So we'll come back when this thing is finished. All right, we're finishing up here, and it is all compressed. Your handbrake cue is done. Finish on up. X out of that, and now we have our mp4 right there and we have our original mov file so you can just see i'm going to put side by side the info so you can see the compression um, this is the main one and um, you can see the compressed one is significantly smaller and um, so that'll be a lot better for uploading to social media to facebook or youtube and it keeps the quality it looks great so i'll just kind of show you what it looks like I'm gonna press Command F for the full screen to give you the full effect. And I'll just press spacebar. So that's what the sunrise looks like. Looks great, um, taking over about an hour and a half of time. And that's that. Thanks for watching guys and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hopefully I'll be coming out with some more tutorials and other fun things using my GoPro and video stuff. Um, this is my first tutorial, so thanks for bearing with me and being patient. Um, hopefully these will improve over time. Thanks a lot.